menininha. E é, João. Oh, que lindo. Well. <laughs> If that was the dish, do you have any more of that, perhaps? Is there any left in there for me? I can't have nice things. Welcome to today's video, guys. I am so stinking excited because in just a few short minutes, if my garage door would shut, okay. I am going to pick up Sam. I have not seen Sam since the last time you guys saw Sam, which was literally like over a year ago. I can't take myself seriously with these super crooked. I look so dumb. So I am very excited to see her. We have a really fun weekend planned. Um, obviously gonna vlog. What is going on? And I got a new car that I'm also very excited about. Um, and a lot of you guys probably already saw on Instagram, but I got the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee High Altitude. This is just what, I think Austin has the regular Grand Cherokee, but I liked the black on black and I was having like other problems with my BMW and I just, I don't know, I wanted a more reliable car for Iowa. You know, I needed a four by four and mine was obviously not. And it's got heated seats and heated steering wheels and it's really nice. And the dealership that I got it from, I ended up getting the price of the 2018 for the 2019. This, that's what I have. So I'm really excited about it. It's got a sunroof that I probably will never use in Iowa because it's going to be cold, but it is nice here and it, uh, it allows some extra light into the vlog. So anyways, that's what's going on today. So I'm about to drive up to pick up Sam from the airport. Yay! <laughs> you guys what I have for training, which is, I have some rack pulls, front squats, Anderson squats, what's an Anderson squat? You know? Anderson squats, and then some lower body accessory like Bulgarian split squats, back extensions. I do have kind of a newer split of programming that I'll talk to you guys about probably later in the video or a next video, future video, so. Then we're gonna go home and eat and chill for the rest of the night. We just didn't wanna have to leave the house again once we already got to the house. <laughs> Team social, so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what's on Jenna, so let's get to training. Anderson squats are basically just bottom-up squats. 
I've never called them Anderson spots before, but I guess that's what they're called. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset the pin to the very bottom position of my bar, and then we're gonna do that from the bottom up. finish our training. Now we're gonna make a quick pit stop at Publix before we go home for the night. Grab some uh, snacks and then I'll show you guys what we're doing for post-workout slash dinner. And we'll see you there. God, everyone is so excited. Are you excited that Sam is here? Yeah. <laughs> They're already going at it. For my post-workout, of course, I am going to pour a quick bowl of cereal using the core power with some Trader Joe's cereal. Alrighty, so we are showered. Uh, Sam just ate her dinner and now I'm about to eat mine. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Remember my meal prep Monday video a couple of videos back? I made those Japanese sweet potatoes, but I left like three of them in the fridge. So this is just the remainder of them. So I'm gonna have some of that with the just chicken from Trader Joe's and the rest of my broccoli. Sam and I will probably do a grocery haul together at some point this week because I know we're gonna have to go back to the store and get some more stuff, especially since there's two of us eating now and two of us tracking our macros, which means all the carbs and all the proteins. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a plate together, nothing super fancy, and then we're gonna go to Target because it's the day after Halloween, so the Halloween candy is like 50% off. <laughs> and i uh, just hang out for the rest of the night, so I just figured I would bring you guys along for our little adventure. You guys wanna have your dinner soon too? Why must you be the star of attention? I can't even say hi to your brother without you trying to steal the show. <laughs> You're so over it, I know. This is where it's at. You just gotta find the good ones. Reese's, pumpkins, and Kit Kats. Fuck yeah. That's so much candy. 30% <laughs> <laughs> off candy. <laughs> They're so much better, right? So much better. I feel like they have more, uh, more ratio of chocolate to peanut butter. <laughs> All right, so Sam's got her oatmeal going on over here. She's got some gingerbread with some uh, banana. Jersey Shore family vacation is on. And I have my oatmeal over here. We are about to chill out and just watch, oh, you can't see me. We're about to watch that, hang out, we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're just gonna do like a little cute photo shoot because Sam and I see each other literally once a year. So we always have to have like awesome pictures together so we can reminisce on them for the following year. Last year we did a photo shoot and it was really cute. It was like at the beach. Um, I'll put one here from that because I thought that was a really cute one. Of course, obviously, we always just like take pictures a bunch together while we are here on our regular phones. But anyways, nonetheless, so we're going to go to bed shortly here and then we will catch up with you guys tomorrow along the day and I'll see you guys there. So it is the following day. Sam is taking a shower. We worked out this morning, did a little bit of cardio and CrossFit style workouts. Before I close out this video, I wanted to give you guys a bulk update because I said that I would. A couple of, uh, I think it was actually a week ago, I posted this picture on Instagram giving kind of like a recap a bulk update but I wanted to get just a tad more in depth with you guys on the YouTube because I know you guys are super into the bulking and I know actually a lot of you are bulking this time of year so if you are definitely leave me a comment down below. So in the four week bulk update I gained 6.3 pounds so it is now coming up on the five and a half week mark and I've gained another pound and a half and I think I mentioned in my caption that I was a little bit shocked that I was gaining at such a high rate of speed but my body composition tends to from previous bulks at least this time around I feel that I'm carrying it much better than I have been in the past I think primarily that's because I now have a lot more muscle mass on my frame than I did like two years ago when I did a bulk, you know, going from 105 pounds to 110 pounds. 
it's gonna look a lot different than me now going from 118 to 123, 124, you know what I'm saying? I think it's something like that. What I wanted to close out this video and just kind of remind you guys is everybody is on their own journey in this fitness slash nutrition world, right? So like if you're on Instagram and you're scrolling and you see my picture, for example, of my bulk, you know, and you're like, oh, I, I want to bulk and, and look that lean or something. You know, I'm just making something up because that were some of the comments that I got. But like, it's very different if you are somebody who is, you know, a higher body fat percentage. Maybe you don't have as much muscle. If you're bulking, your bulk is going to look slightly different than somebody who is, you know, 14% body fat and has 115 pounds of lean muscle mass. So I think that that's something to consider when you're looking for setting goals, especially when it comes to bulking. I know I've mentioned this a ton in previous bulking videos, but you do gain fat. Like it's just, it is what it is. You're going to put on some fat when you're bulking. You can't control it. You know, genetics are going to play a role in some factors or some areas rather, but for the most part, you can't just bulk and get super lean and jacked. Like it doesn't work that way. As much as I wish it works that way, it doesn't. On top of that, you have to kind of structure like not only your nutrition, but your training and your recovery around building muscle as well. I think a lot of times, you know, people see a specific end result and that's what they want to get, but they're not really 100% sure on what exactly they need to do to get there. So they might not be doing the right thing. And a perfect example of this is somebody who wants to bulk and look like X over here and it's a lot of muscle but their training is primarily endurance training, running, not so much lifting, um, they're eating in a deficit, that's not gonna be possible and it's gonna be very frustrating and you know, it's just like trying to run on a hamster wheel and you're not getting anywhere. My purpose of this whole rant to end this vlog was just basically to say, to really do your research on what exactly it is you're looking for and what it's gonna take to get there. And it's okay if you don't know just yet, that's fine, but I think just like what, based on the reactions I got from my bulk picture, it's interesting to see people's take on bulking and what like they think a bulk is, you know? So anyway, that's just my thought on it. Just remember that no matter what you do, especially if you're bulking, it's just gonna be different from person to person depending on how much muscle mass you already have, what your training looks like, what your recovery looks like, what you're eating, how much of a surplus you're in. You know, there's just so many different moving parts to these things that I think people don't necessarily realize when it comes to bulking or even losing fat. That is where I'm going to end this video because we're actually gonna film another video. It's going to be a Q&A type. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Where'd Sam go? She just disappeared. <laughs> I was so here and then I was like, oh, I should move. I shouldn't be in the background of the video. So I came here. <laughs> I was like watching when I was like, where did she go? <laughs> okay, goodbye.